What's up, Channel 2? As you can tell, we're not your, uh, your usual anchors, but we're better. It's true. We're actually here because Cassie and Kaylin are getting their nails done. So, um... We weren't really given a script. I, yeah. Some music. What do we say? Intro? September 23rd, which means it is St. Padre Pio's feast day. He is best known for his stigmata, which is having the wounds of Christ on his hands and ribs. He was just recently canonized as Saint June 16th, 2002. Padre Pio was also famous for bilocating, which means to be in more than one place at a time. And he has a prayer, the prayer of St. Padre Pio. And uh, check out our Facebook page, there should be a link to it. Pray in your classes today or pray when you get home, that'd be great. And now, Greg Lorang with the weather. It's hot. No, Greg, seriously, come on. It's probably cloudy with a chance of rain. Softball won over Fatima 11-3, and soccer had a 4-0 score over Sacred Heart. And they had a tough loss to Quincy 3-0. Davy Golf won 226 to 230 over Hickman. Selena Auer shot a 53, Hannah Berenson a 56, Emma Verslois a 57, and Laura Mueller a 60. Varsity football had a great win last Thursday over MICDS 42-20. Crusader Tennis had a great week getting first place at the Rolla Tournament. At Moberly, they won 7-2, but they had a tough loss to Camdenton 4-5. This has been your Sports Scores of the Week. Now back to Angie and Sydney. This past Sunday at the fairgrounds, there was a free concert with some Christian bands like Addison Road and Matt Marr in 10th Avenue North. Here's some footage from the concert. Hi, my name's AJ and I'm here with Matt Marr. Matt, you just played an awesome concert. We've been having some trouble getting kids involved with mass at school. Do you have any tips for you know getting kids to participate? Well, I think like a lot of times it's uh, the most important thing about mass is listening. And like being a teenager right now, when you're in your life, there's nothing else that really encourages you to listen. Like when you're spending all day texting and on, on Facebook and like the way that you perceive stuff is visually. But the primary thing, the way to enter into mass is to listen. So just uh, try to kind of encourage um, you if you're having problems focusing, maybe try asking yourself, am I really listening to what's going on? Or am I just sort of like wandering and looking around? So that would be it. Awesome. Uh, you were married just eight days ago? Yes. Do you have any relationship advice or yes. anything for us high schoolers? Don't date, ever. Don't. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, what I would say is like... Um, there's, everybody's always like, you know, is this person the one? Is that person the one? Like, there's only one one, and that's God. And so if you God, if you make God the one first, then He'll give you the right vision to see who it is that you're supposed to spend the rest of your life with. And, and when you're in high school, you really don't need to be worried about marriage. So just uh, try to have, try to more so have like fun and, and don't make decisions that are gonna. Uh, affect your ability long term to be a merit. So it's like if you're if you're having sex, um, what you don't think about right now is that you're going to carry all those memories and all those experiences with you into your marriage. So girls, like, give yourselves, treat yourselves with the dignity that God made you, and save yourself. It doesn't matter how much He likes you, or it doesn't matter how much He's worth you. If He's not willing to put this on your finger, and He's not willing to wait until this is on your finger, then He's not worth it. All right, thank you very much. You're really welcome. appreciate it. God bless you guys. You play bass for Mavar. I do. And uh, you are Hickman QP. I'm a QP. How, how do you feel about the Helias Crusaders? Uh, and the year 2000, 2001, 2002, I felt awful for you guys because we destroyed you in football and basketball. <laughs> now I'm indifferent. I'm glad you guys still exist. But You're glad we come to your concerts. I'm glad you guys come yeah. to the show, and I'm glad Helias is still at school. And now to show choir, we're talking to Danny Man. Take it away, Danny. Well, we've got a girls' show choir, which is made up of, I believe, all freshmen. And they are the learning show choir. And they've got a little routine going. Well, parallel motion this year is a lot different than last year for all of you that saw it in the gym at the end of the year. And um, we've got 
more of a contemporary style going on. And there's what? There's like 28 people this year? More than that. There's a lot of people. It's awesome. Choreography for Good Girls Show Choir was done by me, which was also a learning experience. And for all of you freshmen out there, I apologize with my heart for how hard that was and putting up with me. But it's awesome. Just Desserts will be happening this November, again, late November, like right before Thanksgiving. And it's a little preview about, um, well, I don't know how long it was last year, but you get dessert and you get an awesome show, which is just as good as the dessert. And you get to come out and hang out with friends and see an awesome choir. And our competitions don't begin until next spring, but you can always come to those too. And we compete against huge schools with even awesomer show choirs, but we're going to be even awesomer this year, if that's possible. And now we're going to check out the Pure Love Club, which has been started by Cole Haugen and Ben Strumpf and takes place in Mr. Dunn's room. How did, how did this all come about? Well, at NCYC, Jason, Ever, Jason and Christalina Ever both gave a talk together and I really enjoyed it so I looked up some of their stuff and came across the Pure Love Club and I came to Cole asking for some help and we, we found some other students with the same interest and we got a club going. Mr. Don is our sponsor this year. When are your meetings? Usually the first Thursday of the month and then the third Friday and we meet at seven o'clock on Thursdays. Seven o'clock on Thursdays, and if there's a faculty meeting, eight o'clock on the Friday. Stay here at Elias. Elias High School. Well, looks like it's over. You stay Catholic, Elias. <laughs>